Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mark from Solar Games. Um, Alright, quick review, right? A couple things. Why am I not attending Magic 30 this year? Uh, pretty straightforward, the reasons, because I just feel like... I just feel like... Um, it costs too much. I, I'll, I'll lay it out there, right? I, I really want to spend some time meet some of the uh, the people I sell magic to, honestly. Just people I've met uh, over the years, um, over the community. Um, kind of nice to see them in person. But at the same time, I just feel like this event is really meant to be another cash grab by Wizards. I Look, man, I run a business. I'm, I'm not against people making money. But there's a point where you, um, you may be doing that too much, right? So... Why do I hate it? So first of all, there's a door fee. So I, I, I've never been to a magic event before. This I this was going to be my first one. I was thinking, hey man, it's going to be really cool to um, go to the 30th birth, birthday for magic and then be able to do this. What ended up happening, of course, is that I realized, oh shit, like it's going to be like $170 for just being there or whatever. If you want to get the, the legit packages, like 350 or 700 which I heard were sold out instantly, basically. Uh, yeah. So, and if you look at all the, the 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 package like deals, it's like, hey, you get booster packs. You get like, you know, like I don't want booster packs. You know, I I don't want. I, I I'll take the promos. Those are cool, but I don't want more booster packs or booster boxes or a backpack. I don't need any of that stuff. You know, could we have done away with the ticket price or make it really cheap? Like, let's say, can, could we have done a sixty dollar ticket for the weekend, right? That didn't include any booster pack, whatever. But then again, like I'm, I'm just curious. Like, why do we even need a booster pack? Why do we need, like, uh, to pay anything for the events? Because likely most people who go there, they're gonna, you know, hang out. They're gonna. The events cost more, anyways, right? So the events, it's not like the events are free. You go there, you if you want to play events, you're still basically paying tournament fees. Um, you know, like 20, 30, 40 bucks for the standard stuff, and then if you go for the super like premium stuff, it's like super high tier. And of course, them releasing another secret layer, but it's like exclusive. This reminds me of like San, uh, San Francisco Comic Con, or sorry, San Diego Comic Con um, type of ordeal where they would do exclusive cards for exclusive events. Um, yeah, I, I think to me, and, and the other part of it too is like it's super last minute. As you can, as probably everybody on the internet was talking about, this event's like in uh, end of October, so like, you know, Halloween, right? But the problem is they didn't do anything about like, oh shit, my garage is closing. Okay, as I was saying, right? So you, you you got players paying for the events. So the 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 non-premium events are costing 20, 30, 40 bucks. But if you want to join in on the premium stuff, it's gonna be like 100 bucks, 200 bucks for one event, so like three or four hours. Um, you're gonna get some pretty sweet cards, of course, right? There's like a beta draft tournament that you have to like compete into, but obviously it's modern, so I don't play modern. Even if, if I have the cards and the decks for it, I wouldn't be good enough to really go in that tournament. So good luck to all the people who are really good at it. You know, go for it. You guys are going to do well. But I think, you know, we're missing the point. The point of this is like, hey, let's all hang out. Let's all, you know, have time to go meet with each other, right? What is the most casual way for most Magic players to at almost zero cost play with each other? Commander. What are they doing for Commander? They have a, something called a Command Zone, which you have to buy tickets to go to play why they mentioned that there was going to be some free play free to play tables around but honestly given how the event was organized and last minute i don't know man i don't know what is available like i i'm looking at the thing and the whole time i'm like hey uh where are all the info this is happening at the end of um october basically during halloween it's gonna be super packed at las vegas so all the hotels are kind of gone flight's gonna to be tough right but at the same time, this inv info wasn't even released until like beginning week of August. That's crazy. Like, you didn't give anybody any time to go prep for this event. You didn't give anybody info like enough info to decide whether they're gonna go and get their hotel and flights early enough. It's really poorly prepped. So whenever they have last minute events like this, I'm I'm personally really afraid of like, hey, just jumping in headfirst into this because what if it doesn't go well what if there's some other problems you go there you show up it's a poorly planned event you know things are not happening yeah um 
just in general, I think it's like, you know, and then, and then of course, like even the online ticket was sold out almost instantly again. I, that's okay. So I guess there's just a bunch of collectors out there, right? Like doing their things. Maybe, I don't know. Um, it's insane. You know, at this, at this point, like I, I, I hear what other players are saying about like magic being too expensive to play. Um, yeah. When you do this, when you price people out like this, it's, it's really sad. Um, I wish, I so wish they had a way to just, you know, make it like the other events. What I've been told, I've, again, I've never been to these events, is that previous events were free. I mean, you paying for a hotel, the flight and everything, that should be cost enough, right? Plus, most players are going to go there, get a, a, a ticket, they're going to, you know, play events. I like to think of these events not as a way to earn more money for the company, but as a way to kind of build up, to ramp up to earning money. It's kind of like building goodwill. Once you get a big enough company, right? Sometimes you have to, what you know we call in the industry, pay money to earn money. So you want to get players excited about magic. You want players to get together and say, hey, you know, super hype about XYZ thing. You run events like this. But events like this shouldn't be paid or shouldn't cost so much money that you're pricing people out but at the same time maybe it does speak to something about like you know the wallets of the people maybe magic players do have enough money and maybe this is the point like the point is if i charge x they're gonna show up anyways so just charge x kind of makes sense yeah um but either way i'm not i'm not going into magic 30 i think uh i'll wait i mean it seems like magic 30 is going to be a like a year-long celebration there might be something better next year, maybe better planned, hopefully. Um, had I known about the event early enough to get tickets and, you know, hotel, all that stuff settled, um, that'd be great. But, you know, given that it's not, um, you know, for a hundred, for 350 bucks per person, or even 170 or 160 per person, I think me and a couple of my friends could just run magic, like, uh, a celebration at home, right? Like, buy, like, a with $160 among eight people, you can draft some really fancy sets, you know what I mean? Like, you can go for some good old stuff. You don't need to pay that to, to Wizards. That's not even including flights or hotel. So, yeah, it's, it's it, you know, and especially if you're just going there to, like, not participate in the other events, right? You're not going to Command Zone, whatever, then why go at all? So that's that's my problem, right? Like. If I was a modern player and I'm, you know, I'm tournament grinder, I'm really good at that kind of stuff. Yeah, I go because I, you know, a chance at a beta draft, that's awesome. But the reality of the thing is, it's, you know, it's not really for me because I, I feel like there's a lot of events I won't get the most bang bang for the buck if I just go as a, um, I don't know, a enjoyer of magic, right? Um, and it also because of the door fees, it makes me kind of forces me to really if i go if i were to go really spend the time to you know i don't know like hang out at the event rather than with my family potentially because my wife does not play magic like and you know are some of our friends who might be going and hanging hang out with them at in vegas like i probably wouldn't want to do that since i already paid the tournament fees i want to go you know what i mean like you will really want to pad out your schedule so i think that that part of it too kills it for me so anyways um hoping for better events um Oh, and then the secret layer, little Gary. Um, as you know, like I'm, you know, I'm I, I like secret layers. You know, I got a ton of them. So this, these are all the. I think these are all just empty boxes of the ones that like I'm op opening, whatever, right? So, um, but there's you know still a ton of them in, in the shelves behind me, whatever. Um, <clears throat> the secret layer, little Gary. Um, it's cool. I think it's fine. I, I think it's a cool secret layer. I think it's fine that they're running a limited thing, and you know what's going to happen. Somebody, some whale is going to go in there and buy like I don't know, hundred of them, right? And then try to resell them back on the market. Just how it is. I also feel like in general there is some fatigue of secret layers on the secondary market. Um, aside from like maybe Walking Dead and some of the other more exclusive ones, I don't really see that huge uptick of secret layers. Maybe the Firexian one because it has the possibility of getting the numbered Viserys ears. Um, but aside from those couple ones, I don't see anybody really like, you know, going for uh, secret layers these days, you know, like really like the price going up. So I don't know, kind of don't care. Like if you like it, buy it. If you don't like it, then don't skip it. I think that's the general rule for secret layer and that works pretty well. Anyways, uh, Masaki, I'm out. Peace. See you guys. Uh, if you're going to Magic 30, man, uh, have fun. Enjoy yourself. You know, it's, don't don't take, you know, just 
I'm not here to tell you don't go. I just, I, I'm telling you why I, I'm not going. Anyways, I'm out. See you guys.